WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow trading up 78 points. That's a quarter of a percent. While the S&P is off a half a percent or 25 points. And the Nasdaq down one and four tenths or 20, 220 points out there. The Russell's up six now. That's a quarter of a percent. Yeah, we got wacky markets. The Nasdaq, uh, the semis, I'm sorry, are down nine tenths or 34 points. Trend is up 138, nine tenths. Yeah, we've got a little bit of everything. Gold is off seven bucks. Silver down six pennies. Lights recruit is off 28 cents out there. And my take, at least after doing it, just in case you're tuning, tuning in live, during the Trader's Ed show, we took a look at the uh, the uh, uh, the diamonds, the spies, the Qs, the QQEW, the Russell 2000, and everything is pulling back into uh, the swing point from a few days ago, January 10th, with much lighter volume. I looked at the XLK during the breakout here. Uh, that's the number one sector inside the S&P 500. So just to give you a benchmark for what it's doing or what it's not doing. So, so far today, it has tested the swing point from January 10th. That swing point had volume of 16.2 million shares. Today, you are at 6 million shares. So this is giving us a test and rejection of that swing point. Tom has coined the phrase. I'm going to send him another dollar in a moment, which is if you can't bust them down, price will try to bust them up. What does that mean for the XLK? The bust them up might only get you to 168.64 or 170.12. That is the center and top of its bearish structured daily profile. Let's spend a few minutes to go take a look at those indice charts as we do at 2 o'clock and just see if there's any signals coming from them. The upper left-hand corner is the Dow. If the Dow Jones Industrial can close above, and it's trained above right now, it's green oscillator and change line, 36,389 is what we'll call it. If price closes above 36,389, odds favor that what the Dow is signaling to you and I is it wants to make a run for its all-time high. If the S&P can close above 47.39, and I don't have any indication that that's what it wants to do, but that would be the indication that it, too, wants to go test that all-time high out there. Uh, inside the NASDAQ 100, it's the one that's generated the weakest signal. If you take a look at that green and red squiggly line, when it changes color, it tells us about a test of that line. We got that test yesterday. It was a test and rejection. That's a bearish outcome. But if you go look at the volume in the queues, it doesn't have the volume to push lower. We got this sideways-ish type market, very much like when we took a look at where things were trading. Some indices to the upside, some to the downside. I don't think we have a concerted effort to the downside, at least just yet. But stay tuned, folks. Two more great guys are up next, and they'll give you their view. Have a terrific Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow.